Let's ask students some important questions about their hopes for their future lifestyle and what it will cost. What do you see in your future? Pay attention. These are questions you should ask yourself to prepare for what lies ahead. What do you imagine your life to be like at 30? When I'm 30, I hope to have an established career. As for my living conditions, I like to live in the city. Do you know what it costs for your future home? I'm not exactly sure how much a condo will cost. So I know per week they range from like $500, so it comes around $2,000 a month. Do you know how much it costs for post-secondary education? I'm personally going to be expecting $15,000 a year. Other schools have it less, other schools even have it more. Personally, for the university I'm going to, I'm expecting about ten dollars to $12,000 for residents. Eight to $9,000 a year. I think it also depends on what kind of career you have. But when you're going internationally, I know it's a lot more. It can come up to $36,000 a year. Do you have a budget? Um, personally, I have a budget. Going to university, having a budget is essential because you're not only paying for residence, you're paying for textbooks, meals, sometimes when you go out for entertainment and whatnot. So that's huge. Where did you learn about budgeting? I personally learned here at school. We had a junior achievement program come in, and that's where I learned. What is the difference between college and university? I've been told that university is more for careers that involve thinking and more theoretical, while college is more hands-on. So if you were to become a hairstylist, you'd be going to college. How should you prepare for post-secondary? If you don't know what fields or interests you have, I definitely suggest take an aptitude test. Keeping your grades up is um, a huge part of it because there is a lot of competition. Go on the university's website and if you have any questions you've asked your guidance counselor. Really, it's, it's very tough to figure out what, you're, what you want to do at that point. But what you can assess is like your skills, for example. I believe that when you're in high school, when you're transitioning through there, join a lot of clubs, reach out to different organizations, like clubs, organizations, those are the things that get you through the furthest. What do you think is starting pay for a university grad? First of all, it really depends on the major in terms of the, the, the demand for the job. But I think personally, the average you could expect around forty-five to fifty-five thousand. What is the average pay for a part-time job? I personally get paid ten seventy-five. I get paid thirteen fifty. When you are in the workplace, is it crucial that you conduct yourself in ethical ways? And what does it mean in ethical ways? Well, I think it's important to not cause much conflict in, in a workplace since it's a professional environment. And also because um, when you ever, whenever you see some, like, some conflict going on, you should try to report it or you should even like maybe step up and try to resolve it yourself. Ethics is basically just doing the right thing and it's like it comes back to your morals as a person. It's important to think about what you want out of your future and the realistic expectation of what everything will cost. Plan ahead, budget, and you can reach your goals.